and welcome to South Moulton United C of E Primary School. I'm Kevin O'Donnell, the head teacher, and you're very welcome to this, our kind of talk about the school and our vision and values. Um, there'll also be a, a virtual tour around the school. We're really sorry that we can't host a, a live open day where you come in and see the school, but because of COVID restrictions, we're having to do it virtually, but hopefully this will give you a sense of us as a school and um, hopefully uh, nearer the summer we'll be able to welcome you into the school so you can see the school in action. Our school vision and values are really important to us and we try and live them out every day. At South Moulton United CV Primary School children have a sense of belonging in a supportive happy environment where their range of talents will be nurtured, enabling them to flourish and achieve excellence. We really pride ourselves in this school in being a happy, supportive, warm and welcoming school. We think of ourselves as a, a family and we really try and look after all the children in our care. We're really privileged to spend so much time with the children and we want to look after them, nurture them and enable them to achieve their very best. Every child is valued as a unique person and can de develop their sense of discovery, expectation and wonder. Again, we really want to value each child as an individual, as a unique person. We don't want them to be the same. We want to keep their unique characteristics and, and build on those and build a strong sense of self for each and every one of our children so that they become proud of who they are and themselves and have confidence in themselves as well. We're a church school, so we embrace Christian values, which enable us to be compassionate and responsible members of our school community and wider community and make positive contributions to society. It is a few photos which capture some of the amazing learning that goes on in school. We don't every day have uh, a Python in school, but um, to enrich the curriculum, we try and bring in visitors and have trips. Um, so we had a visit uh, last year for, uh, this is for year three, um, for a really wild experience day where they got to draw lots of different animals and handle lots of different creatures as well. Uh, you can see on the windows they're displayed, children uh, in their learning about space and, and uh, in science were drawing their own planets and coming up with their own fact files for their planets. Art again is really important to us so we want children's uh, performing arts and creative talents to really be um, activated and, and, and developed over their time and you can see there one of our children in our new painting pod in reception you making really good use of that. Uh, now, we were inspected by Ofsted a couple of years ago and they said a few lovely things about our school. We were graded good in all areas um, after a two day inspection and um, I've just picked out a few parts of the report um, that I wanted to highlight. Teaching is good, pupils in all year groups and in all subjects make good progress. Staff are highly effective in supporting pupils' personal development and welfare. That's something I alluded to earlier. We're really proud of the fact that we're a a real family and we want to really welcome children so that support for pupils personal development and welfare is really important to us. Children get a good start in to their school education due to good teaching. Pupils blossom in this school because staff, staff nurture their talents and interests. Everyone is treated as an individual with respect, kindness and understanding and excellent relationships and information sharing mean that parents and carers are fully involved in their children's learning. And again, that's really, really important to us. And I'll talk to you about that shortly. Some photos of children in reception, and you can see them in the outdoor areas, making good use of the range of activities on offer out there. So again, trying to be really creative and using lots of uh, different things to enhance the children's learning. So our curriculum in school, we aim to inspire all our children for them to be really engaged, to progress, to achieve and to do the very best they can and excellence looks different for each individual as well. We want our curriculum to be inspiring, practical, exciting, enjoyable, 
broad and balanced to provide your child with the best possible start to their time at school and give them really strong foundations for their learning throughout school. So reception year is known as the early years foundation stage because it puts in so many of those foundations for the children's learning through their time at school. If they can have a really good start in reception, the next six years of their primary education and then into secondary are much more likely to be successful. So we really put lots of effort into making sure that our reception curriculum and our reception offer is as good as possible. Outdoor learning and practical hands-on learning will be a core part of our curriculum, placing each child at the centre of their learning. It's really important that children have that real uh, centrality to their learning and they are absolutely at the heart of everything we do. Some uh, examples of how we enrich the curriculum and give the children lots of different opportunities. So we've got uh, children who took part in the Jaguar Primary Challenge a couple of years ago. Um, and got to the national finals and, and, and even won a couple of categories in that. Uh, one of our trainee teachers from a year or two ago dressed up as a Roman centurion. Um, there's a group there at um, Rock and Rapid developing their climbing skills. That's something we offer in year three is a, a one night residential over in Rock and Rapid where the children learn some climbing skills, but also get their first night away on residential. And again, another activity, we've got uh, children you, handling a, a pet of someone in their reception class as they learn about animals and other um, parts as part of their science work. As I said earlier, we have, we really want to have a strong partnership with parents and carers. It's so important to being a successful school. Um, we spend 190 days a year and six hours a day with your children. So we really want to work with you to, to really benefit your, your child. So we provide regular updates of what the children are learning in reception. We use an online program called Tapestry, which um, you can access uh, via your phone um, and see what the children have been learning. Um, and you can also contribute to that. Uh, parents are able to come in to school in the morning for link provision sessions. Um, at the moment, we're unable to do that because of COVID, but hopefully that we'll be able to reinstate that once um, things return to more normality. And again, teachers are available before and after school to share any concerns and celebrate success. But we really want to be a very open and welcoming school and to put parents at the heart of um, all we do as well. School site is, is a really extensive site. We've got an outdoor space and I'll show you some photographs in a moment, which is used for sports, outdoor learning. We've got some nature areas, vegetable gardens, forest schools and play area. Um, there's a dedicated area for reception. We've got a dedicated area for key stage one and two specialist areas for different subjects. So, for example, we have a kiln, which enables us to do lots of pottery and clay work. Um, we have collaboration with other schools and we work with other schools as well. We're part of the Dartmoor Teaching Schools Alliance. We work quite extensively with the secondary school on uh, pupil transition, but also on sports festivals. So there's lots and lots going on in school. But here's uh, some example of the school site. Here's our, our nature area. Um, the children sowed lots of wildflower seeds some of our growing areas. So this is planted up during lockdown. Children grew all sorts of different things. And here's our trim trail at the top of the field as well that the children get to use during their lunch times. We also offer breakfast and after school provision for, the, um, for those working parents who need it. We have lots of trips and visitors. At the moment, we're a bit more restricted on that. But in the last two years, we've had trips to Exmoor to follow the course of the River Lynn. Year reception and year one have been to Westwood Hope Beach. We go to the Devon Mix Music Festival, Exmoor Zoo. We've had the Space Dome in school. We've had the really wild learning experience that you saw with the Python. Um, we've been to the whole school, went to Exeter Cathedral, the synagogue and the mosque. And we have a number of other trips as well. So trips and visits help support the curriculum. Uh, in normal times, we also have a range of after school and lunchtime extracurricular clubs. And again, swimming is part of the children's PE curriculum as in their time at the school. We utilise South Mountain Swimming Pool 
for that. Uh, now to apply for a place, you need to register with an admissions at the website there. You can complete your school preferences through this website and the application process is open from about the middle of November through to January the 15th. We welcome any questions, um, so please contact the school via telephone or email. Um, as I say, I'm for, we're really disappointed that we're not able to show uh, parents and carers around because we'd really love to show you around, but hopefully we'll try and provide as much information through these virtual videos. But please do phone or email in to arrange a, an appointment and to speak to a member of staff. We look forward to seeing you and hearing from you soon. Thank you very much. Bye for now.